all judges are equal the grievance which the four judges have made as we could see from what they said in the press conference and in the letter is about assignment of cases now there's no doubt that the chief justice is the master of the roster the question is whether there should be some formalization of this procedure now how these sensitive cases would be allocated but if there is a clear discernible principle now because the roster is largely well known yeah. you know that land acquisition cases mm. during this term of the court mm. go before a particular bench now the problem seems to have arisen about a special category of pils which are Supposedly sensitive so. cases mm. and that is why the occasion has arisen for the chief justice to exercise his power as master of the roster mm. because if otherwise mm. all other jurisdictions mm. are determined for a set period say october to december yeah. or january to march mm. there's no uncertainty it's the computer which will allot it's this particular category of cases which the chief justice mm. marks mm. to a particular bench mm. now the resolution according to me would be by indicating maybe internally among all the judges that for this semester this residuary category of cases will either be heard by the chief justice himself or by bench a b or c irrespective of seniority uh, is this in a sense a spectacular self goal for the judiciary because it ends up inviting the executive to come in um, put in tighter controls on the judiciary the judiciary needs to get mm. its act together mm. to ensure that that doesn't happen now it's inevitable that when the judiciary is seen as divided the government not just this government the any executive government. any government would take advantage of that situation yeah. it was definitely something very very unusual and though the judges who held that press conference yeah. were senior seasoned people yeah. they were obviously not familiar with the press conference yeah. format as you could see from the body language and they wouldn't have been able to envisage the fallout mm. if such a thing happens then there is little scope mm. for anyone making capital okay. of this incident apurva if you read that letter carefully it talks of chief justices it at least mm. talks of one previous chief justice mm. and reading between the lines mm. i think the reference there was to the kalikopul case yeah where the bench was different yeah. from the particular bench which now. has now become Come the focus yeah. 
which has become the focus of the recent debate. So I don't think that there is something personal and I don't think experienced, disciplined, seasoned judges of the court, judges who are trained not to bring their personal views yeah. or prejudices into the decision of cases before them, yeah. it would be very uncharitable to think mm. that they could have been actuated mm. by personal motives. In the last two years, perhaps this issue has come, if not two years, two and a half years or three years, has come into sharper focus mm. only because of a strong government at the centre. I am talking of a government with an overwhelming majority. We are not talking of majoritarianism in this discussion. Allegations or apprehensions tend to acquire a certain seriousness yeah. which they may not acquire mm. otherwise in a different situation. Mm.